Self-love is when you say to yourself, oh, man, look, I know you and that girl got a real connection. Um, I know y'all vibe, but that's your girl's cousin. So I love you too much to let you do that. It's like you say to yourself, hey, man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but I can't let you eat that, man, because if, if you eat that pizza, you're going to feel like, sh you know, and I, I, I just I love you too much to let you eat that. Self-love is, hey, look, I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know, and I know you really want to go out with your friends. It's Saturday night. You want to go out. But if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, I just I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. We tend to base our self-esteem on what other people think. And that's not really self-esteem. Self-esteem is supposed to be how we feel about ourselves. And I was just saying how dangerous it is to allow other people to determine how you're going to feel about you. And it's kind of like looking into a broken mirror. You're going to look in a broken mirror and then change your face to try to look good in this defiled, busted, broken mirror. And it's just other people's opinions is a really way to determine how we feel about ourselves. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a, a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not, I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you, you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. definition of who I am is very clear to me and it also redefines who I want to be in that I know for a fact that I'm stronger than I thought I was. You know, you can't help but ask yourself the question, what would I do if I was in Muhammad Ali's shoes? I'm, I'm motivated by I hate being scared to do something. And I think what developed uh, in, my, in my early days was the, the attitude that I started attacking things that I was scared of. Why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Just don't go. Why are you scared in your bed 16 hours before you jump? Why are you scared in the car? Why could you not enjoy breakfast? Fear is, fear of what? You're nowhere even near the airplane. Everything up to the stepping out, there's actually no reason to be scared. It only just ruins your day. You're, you don't have to jump. And then in that moment, all of a sudden where you should be terrified is the most blissful experience of your life. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror.